I lied. Yeah, I lied. I totally lied. We are not doing the hydration taste test this week. I looked at my calendar. It's next weekend. You can imagine the looks on my friends' faces when I said, oh no, it's this weekend. Because they already had plans. See anything different about me? I'm blaming the hair dye. I think it got to my brain. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking. It's like we're done before we even started. So if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. I believe in us. I won't give up on you. I will now in August and that is the wildfire season here in Spokane so there will be a haze of smoke this entire month I did watch TV today and it is okay to continue with outdoor activity as long as you're not feeling any of the symptoms of smoke exposure you know tickly throat coughing not being able to breathe very well watery, runny, scratchy eyes. So we're okay for right now. If you see haze in the sky or you smell smoke, or if you know you're in an area that has wildfires, you wanna make sure to check the air quality index or the air quality before you head out to do any outdoor exercise, such as running where you are huffing and puffing and bringing in a lot of air. You don't want that air to be all smoke filled. You know, us runners, we try to be as healthy as we can. We eat right, we exercise. We want good, healthy, strong lungs. Inhaling smoke, not only will you have the particles in your lungs, but over time, continued exposure to smoky air will hurt your lungs as well as your heart. Whew. Any rating that is above green on the air quality index meter is considered hazardous. Green is 50. So anything below 50, you are good to go out. When I checked today, it was 47. So we are just fine for this first run of the week of our sixth week. Oh my gosh. It's going to be over in no time. Blink of an eye. A link of an eye. Wildfires have always been the cause of poor air quality here in Spokane. But you know, there are other factors that you should keep in mind. If you're in an area that doesn't have wildflowers, wildflowers, they do run where there's wildflowers. But if you're in an area that does not have wildfires, <laughs> consider these. Try to avoid the cars like where i am right now the more congested your running trail is or your running path the more exhaust you're inhaling i couldn't think for a minute it's it's the hair again we're going to talk about this in a minute <laughs> so you want to stay away from where there's a lot of cars now sometimes that's hard for me because of where I live I don't live out in the country so there are times where I have to run where there's cars but I try to break it up so that I'm not smelling all that exhaust run in wooded areas or in parks today I am running along Spokane's Riverfront Park nature areas are likely to have less cars and pollution is less likely to get trapped in between buildings. Hit the gym for your run. I know gyms may not be everybody's cup of tea, but if the air quality is unsafe to go running, this is a great time to check out your local gyms. I know from experience, because I work at an athletic facility, many gyms will give you day passes for a small fee just to try out their facilities. And who knows? You might like them, you might join. And if all else fails, 
take a rest day. Check the weather, check the air quality for the remainder of the week. There might be times at the end of the week where the air quality is better than today. This would be a good time to do your cross training. Do some indoor walking at that gym with that uh, guest pass. Do some yoga, stretching, weight work. You gotta keep yourself safe. Oh, what you doing? Are you guys out for a little stroll? Huh? Are you strolling? Here, here's the leaders of the pack. Let's get up here. Oh no, there's the leaders of the pack. All right, guys. Honk, honk. Honk, honk. Honk, honk. Honk, honk. Oh, jeez. I think they're out to get me. <laughs> 3.87 miles, 45 minutes first run done. So, should we talk about this? What, what, what is going on here? Yeah, no, we're gonna save that till Thursday's run. Oh, this is not at all what I was hoping for. I wanted one shade darker. This is like a hundred shades darker. Oh my God. I look like my evil twin, my evil dark haired twin. Ooh. Yeah, this is a little bit challenging, but we can get it done. I have no one to blame but myself for what is taking place on my head. This is what happens when you purchase your own hair dye in a box for eight bucks. You get this. Like I said in my bathroom, I had wanted to go one shade lighter. I was also told by my hairdresser who cuts my hair, oops, that I should leave it in for longer than what is recommended on the bottle. Had I chosen my original color, I think we would have been okay. But I guess I get this for the next two months. Or at least six weeks. But if I spend enough time in the sun, maybe it'll lighten up. This is my hope. We are heading out for our final run of the week. It is a seven miler. I've gotten out early. It's cool. Not a whole lot of smoke in the air. Total transparency. I never got out on Thursday. Super busy at work. Lots of things going on that were beyond my control that we had to get fixed. And then there was a lot of catch up, so. You know, there you go. It happens. It happens. But today, we're gonna get our seven miler in. Even with all the construction. I really don't know what they're doing. Why are we replacing the curbs? They were perfectly fine. So you've already caught me disobeying my rule number one. Stay away from heavy traffic areas so you're not ingesting all that exhaust. Well, like I said on Tuesday, sometimes I just can't help it. This is my route, this is where I live. I'm not gonna drive to some rural area to do my run, so get out early when traffic might be a little less uh, heavy. It smells okay. I have now adjusted my interval timer to do three minutes of running, two minutes of walking, that seems to help get my heart rate down and kind of cool off, get a little rest in between those running spurts. We'll see how long that lasts. It is so hard to get back. Whoops, gotta go. It is so hard to get back into the swing of things. I'm sure it's a combination of age, weight gain, and that whole year I had to take off. But it's okay, I'm gonna do it. 39 minutes, 30 We've hit the halfway point and I've changed it up a little bit. I just couldn't do it. I am now doing three minutes of walking, two minutes of running. And I'm actually able to keep up a fairly decent pace. I think I'm doing 11, let's say 11, 14, between 11, 14 and 11, 20 minute per mile. Halfway done, let's go. You reached your goal of seven, seven miles. miles. Time one hour twenty one 
minutes. We did it, seven miles. Gotta get my timer off here, there we go. Seven miles, that ends week six. Next week is the long-awaited taste test for hydration drinks. It really will take place next week, I promise. We are less than four weeks out for Disneyland Halloween Half Marathon Weekend. I was going to do a costume reveal next week with a hydration test, but I think that might make the video go long. So next week I'm gonna have an independent video just with my costume reveal that I'll be wearing for Disneyland uh, Half Marathon Weekend. It's almost the middle of August, everybody. Summer's almost over. I can see cool temperatures just around the corner. See you next week. Come thirsty.